Firefighters in Tampa are on the scene of a fire at an apartment complex at Palencia Drive. Now, they've been there for about three and a half hours at this point. And take a look. This is what it looked like when they first arrived. Flames shooting from one of the buildings there. Good morning. Welcome to News Channel 8 Today. I'm Gene Ramirez. And I'm Gail Gliardo. Dozens of people are homeless now, but three deputies are being credited with saving lives and for quick thinking. Ryan Hughes joins us now live from the Palencia Apartments off Dale Mabry Highway this morning. So, Ryan, what's the latest? Gail, good morning to you once again. As the sun comes up, we are certainly getting a clearer picture of the damage here at the Palencia Apartments. This is building 1300, which is attached to building 1400, and you can see that fire ripped through the middle of the building, essentially from the top all the way to the ground floor, damaging a number of units in the process. Now, we have some video shot by a resident that shows the intense flames just after 3 this morning. We just got some updated numbers from the Hillsborough County Fire Rescue Department at least 24 people are displaced right now due to fire, water, or smoke damage in their units. American Red Cross officials are here to help many of them. We're also told that one dog died in the fire, but a cat and some birds were rescued. Now, as we mentioned, the fire department and some residents credit a number of Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office deputies for getting the call here. There was initially a balcony fire, but I'm told when they got here, that's when they saw the intense flames. They ran inside, began frantically knocking on doors, telling people to leave immediately. Here's what one resident just had to say. I just heard a loud banging on the door. Um, opened the door real quick, and I saw an officer running from apartment to apartment, banging on the doors. Ran back in, grabbed my phone, my wallet, my keys, ran out, and she said, fire, get out, get out. Heroic actions indeed. Another live look at the scene. You can see a firefighter on the ground floor going through the rubble with some equipment. We're told the investigation is in its full swing right now, and the fire likely started on the second floor, but at this hour, officials certainly don't know how it started. We'll continue to monitor the situation and bring you any new developments from the scene as we get information, Gail. Back to you for now.